No surprise. I think, um, you know, the, the front office there was put under extreme pressure after that first performance against Bayern Munich and very similar stuff against Werder Bremen. Um, you know, I think once you go into a new season, you have a, a seven to eight week preseason and you think all of your troubles are gone and then your team shows up the first two weeks of the Bundesliga and does the exact same thing, then you really have to start questioning the coach and his methods. Um, so there was nothing they could have done to, kept, to keep him. I think it was um, the inevitable move. Um, but like I said, we don't have a crystal ball to know if it was the right move. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Archie, 16 matches without a win going into the start of the season. It was a mistake to keep him, wasn't it? Why didn't they get rid of him before? because it would have been too expensive. Uh, the fact is Schalke are in real financial trouble right now and letting him run down his contract by a couple more months over the summer has saved them a little bit of cash. And given the fact that Schalke needed a 40 million euro bailout over the summer to help them keep afloat, it tells you how much financial pressure they're under. Add to that, that David Wagner had, had no choice but to bring back players into the fold, such as Ralph Fehrman, the goalkeeper who went on loan to Norwich and didn't play last season. Mark Hoot, uh, striker. Sebastian Rudy, who, who has really not looked great any time he's been in a Schalke shirt. Uh, you add to that Nabil Bentaleb, who has... You can't really count the, the, moments, uh, the, the good moments that he's had in, in a Schalke shirt in the last two years, really. And Stephen Skripsky. Now, these are four, four of these five players are now being made into key players in the squad. And yet, last year, David Wagner says to these players, you're not good enough for me, you're going away. Mm. You've got to be able to really forge some sort of new connection and really hold your hands up and say, you know what, I got it wrong then, and I really need you now. And I just didn't see that from the Schalke side. I was at the game on Saturday, and the, the way that their heads went down after the first goal, it was so quiet there. And even when Schalke scored their consolation goal, there was one clap, a solitary clap <laughs> from a support staff member. And the music is blaring and it just felt so incredibly awkward. The writing was on the wall. You knew that he was gone. Who's worth, worse, Archie? Uh, Fulham or Schalke? <laughs> 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 final, final point. Um, what's going on at Mines, Archie? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> so... So last week, uh, Adam Solai, uh, journeyman Bundesliga striker, he was banished to the uh, to the Mainz second team for for sporting reasons. Basically, he and Achim Bailot, so the coach, didn't see eye to eye. But what nobody expected was the Mainz players to strike that Wednesday and refuse to train in support of Solai. So we then had this very bizarre situation this weekend where. The sporting director was saying, look, it was a very unpleasant situation, but ultimately, Mainz threw in the towel against Stuttgart. The, the, the way that they lost by four goals to one, and you see the players all awkwardly standing around by Alorza as he's giving a team talk after the game. I, it, it, it's been going wrong for a while there. And by Alorza, I have to say, he is, by all intents and purposes, one of the nicest guys that you will meet in professional football. But he just does not command the respect of a top-tier dressing room. I think that that has been a real problem for him. And it's his, his inability to be able to control the dressing room dynamics that Mainz has done for him. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.